What's goody? It's your boy, Dr. Evil Genius. Here with my main man, Captain Paul. How you doing, Paul? Doing pretty good, man. What's going on? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Uh, I wanted to get uh, some recording done yesterday, but I don't know. Maybe you could tell the audience why we didn't push out a video for them yesterday well you know yesterday was mother's day and uh you know people didn't want to leave the fucking house it was uh there till one in the morning so i thought a few hour event turned into a 12 hour <laughs> event so wasn't able to get any uh recording in would have been too loud too much background noise but shit we're here now fuck get off my back god damn well uh <laughs> there was uh other festivities that happened uh yesterday on the same day mm -hmm. and it turned out a lot worse than your situation oh, oh jesus yeah six people killed uh plus the suspected shooter yep he took out six people and then himself he he drove to where people were having a party to do his target practice Bro, in what is. state the great state of Colorado, specifically in Colorado Springs. Yeah, man. Just, just wild too, because it was his girlfriend and like her extended family that he just like decided to, you know, it's like fuck it, it's gonna bring my gun and just unload some fucking rounds down range into another human being. Just absolutely fucking crazy, especially on Mother's Day. You know what I mean? Where you're celebrating like you know the mothers of children and shit like that and like their lives and fucking dude just snapped just unlo started unloading fucking rounds into him uh it just it seems like it's a common trend right now in colorado honestly right and you know we're gonna get into some of the specifics and uh a, a very sp a specific lesson in here for us men but before we do that, uh, I really want to talk about the fact that it seems like Colorado is like the nation's capital for mass shootings. Okay. Uh, but before we get into this one, let's look at the the history of mass shootings in the great state of Colorado. So I pulled this up simply from Wikipedia. All this stuff can be found in other places, but this is the easiest way to get a list of of shootings in Colorado, okay? The very first mass shooting killed 163 people November 29, 1864. A 675-man force of Colorado U.S. Volunteer Cavalry under the command of U.S. Army Colonel John Chivington, what a name, Chivington, attacked and destroyed a village of Cheyenne and Arapo people in southeastern Colorado Territory, killing and mutilating Damn. an estimated 70 to 500,000 Native Americans, about two-thirds of which were women and children. Now, there is a fuck ton of shootings on that list. Yeah. Uh... Check out this one from 1914. The Colorado National Guard and camp guards of the Colorado Fuel and Iron Company fired on a tent colony of 1,200 striking coal miners and their families. So, when we're talking about workers' rights and unionizing and all that, you know, minimum, you know, national and state minimum wages and things of this nature. This is the history. This is part of the history of that. Mm -hmm. And this happened in Colorado. Skipping in 1993 in Aurora, Colorado. Uh, oh. Nathan Dunlap was fired from a Chuck E. Cheese and came back and killed four ex-co-workers. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Moving along. The infamous Columbine shooting. Yeah. April 20th, 1999. That was one of the craziest memories that I had in my teenage years of hearing that kind of shit because I had never heard of anything like that before. 
Well, dude, it was wild because it kind of um, – it birthed, right? And I, this is going to sound fucked up. It birthed a lot of this school shooting shit now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, where where you have a lot the of – The grandpappy of school shootings yeah, happened. Man, like, yeah, You know, it, it was like the OG of fucking school shootings. And it's, just, it's fucked up, right, to say that. But ever since that shooting, uh, there's been far more prevalent in America where a fucking upset uh, teenager maybe getting bullied or maybe just – you know, pissed off at the world. We'll just shit. Just bring a gun to school and start unloading, unloading magazines down range. I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird to see how much that one singular shooting has affected just schools in general with security now having on certain school districts, uh, districts like police on campus. It's just obviously more shootings have happened since then, but you can't really discount like how massively that affected uh, just the future when it came to school shootings. Cause like, it just seems like it's far more prevalent than it ever was. Yep. It, and it seems like, you know, seventies, sixties, like before that time period, gun laws were pretty lax in a lot of ways. So it's just, it's, it's weird how in a way that just birthed that philosophy of like, Oh, well fuck this. If I'm pissed off, I'm getting bullet, you know, fuck this. I'm just going to, bring my gun to school and show these motherfucker what's for. So well, it, it's crazy. Well, well, we're going to, we're going to get in, we're going to get into, we're going to dig into that in one very specific way uh, going forward. But as you said, the grandpappy of mass shootings, especially in educational institutions mm -hmm. was Columbine 1999. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, of course the reason why I wasn't going to mention the 2005 shooting is not because police officers were involved, because I'm not anti-police. Uh, but the reason why I wasn't going to mention this one is because this wouldn't count as a mass shooting, as only two people were shot. It's crazy how we can even have the conversation like this, like, oh, only two people were shot here. Only one of them died, right? It's almost like we, we've become so desensitized to mass extreme violent expressions and the reason why i use the word express expressions but we'll get to that uh we got another high school stu uh shooting uh mixed in with a little bit of uh hostage taking um r.i.p emily keys she had the uh you know she had the gumption she had the courage to to run for her life and he shot her that's some bitch ass shit He's a, wow. All right. Um, uh, check. I mean, again, Matthew Murray opened fire at two different church organizations in separate cities, killing four and wounding five others before committing suicide. This is Arvada and Colorado Springs, 2007. Okay. Uh, some weirdo uh, shot a couple of students. Nobody died in 2010, thank goodness. Uh, here we go with Aurora, Colorado again. James Holmes. Open fire during the midnight showing of the film The Dark Knight Rises. Man, that, that went so viral. 70 injured, 12 dead. <laughs> and I know that people remember his wild looking eyes in the courtroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was Aurora, Colorado. We have uh, Centennial, Colorado, Arapaho High School. 18-year-old uh, student Carl Pearson entered Arapaho High School carrying Molotov cocktails and a shotgun. He shot another student and then shot himself. Okay, we start. We're seeing. We're seeing a uh, a theme, a recurring theme here. Uh, Colorado Springs, 2015, Noah Harpham randomly killed three people before responding police officers killed him. Harpham had been open carrying and some open carry opponents would assert that this allowed such a delay before a response that he was able to kill more individuals than in the case where police intervention would have been warranted by his presence with a rifle. I'm not going to get into gun rights on that. Uh, I'm, I'm just not going to, not going to get into that. Um, uh, about less than a month later, Colorado Springs again. 
A Planned Parenthood uh, clinic. Three people dead. Thornton, a couple years later, walked into a Walmart, killed three people near the cash registers, and fled the scene. Mm. He had been arrested 14 times before the killings. Okay. Uh, Highlands Ranch. Nine were shot and one dead. Seems like we're seeing like a big trend in Colorado. It just seems like Aurora, Colorado again. Seventeen-year-old male was shot and killed inside a J.C. Penney store. Dang. Boulder, Colorado, 2021. Ten killing ten people, including a police officer. Uh, I think that was a police officer that had like a whole bunch of kids, and he was like being a hero. So you know, shout out to him. Rest in peace. Uh, to Officer Tally. Um, and then uh, yesterday, birthday party. So, Colorado Springs and Aurora. It just is 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 this weird. Well, it's a weird it's a weird kind of dynamic. And I I, I looked up Aurora, and their crime rate's pretty bad in that city. Um, it actually ranks towards the top end in the United States when it comes to uh, criminal acts done by their citizens. But it's just um, it just seems like it's a frequent issue in, in those two specific areas for whatever reason. Um, maybe it's just kind of um, I don't even know. You couldn't really necessarily blame it on poverty because that's that, that just be kind of a weird argument. But. It just seems like for whatever reason in those two areas, uh, people are more prone to just fucking opening fire on other people. Well, uh, I'm I I don't think it's a geographical issue because I mean we're averaging what, three or four mass shootings a week in the country? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go there today. Let me ask you a question, Captain. Mm -hmm. Between the sexes, between males and females. Who do you think are more emotional, males or females? Um, I'd have to say women. And why would you say that? Just, just with the, like, if you're gonna do an average woman to an average man, I think a, a woman gets more emotional, like has a more emotional response to a certain situation than a man. Okay. Um, All right. So let's test that. Let's go back to this list of shootings in Colorado. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, let's leave the, well, we already know that these national guard forces were made up of 100% witch sex. Man, man. Okay. 1993, Aurora, Colorado shooting. Nathan Dunlap. Was that male or female? That's male. Okay. Two senior students, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold at Columbine, male or female? That is male. Okay. Raul Gormez Garcia, male or female? Male. Well, you know what? And and this and I get where you're going down. Where where am, where am I going with this? No, let's go down the list. Let's go down the list. Dwayne Roger Morrison, male or female? Male. Matthew Murray, male or female? Male. Bruco Eastwood. Male. James Holmes. That's definitely male. Okay. Carl Thank Pearson. You. Male. Noah Harpham. That is male. Uh, do we get a name for... Oh, here we go. Robert Louis Deer. Male. Scott Ostrom. Male. Devon Erickson. Male. Camille Xavier Garrett. Male. All these guys are going to be male. I already kind of like, I know where you're going down with this. Okay. So, so like, when you say that women have more emotional reactions to situations, uh, let me put a What is here. more of an emotional reaction than me, randomly me, or non randomly taking people's to, lives? Let me put a caveat to it. And this, and this, you will probably either, you'll probably disagree with them. I say this. 
I think women are a little bit, not a little bit, are far more emotional in everyday topics. But I think when a man snaps, a man fucking snaps. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think a man's emo, like a high end emotional response is far, like the reactionary is far greater than a woman. Cause you, we've all seen it, right? When a man gets fucking pissed off and he fucking goes, it's going to be like to a 10th degree higher than a fucking woman or woman's, you know what I'm trying to say? So I think when a, when a man, for whatever reason, whatever reason they did these actions, when they get to that fucking breaking point and they just go fucking absolutely bonkers and lose it, yeah, there's going to be a far more visceral effect. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't know. I get what you're saying. I'm not saying men can't be emotional and men don't have emotional reactions because a lot of these are fucked up and highly emotional fucking reactions to a certain situation. But I think a man's like peak is far greater in anger than a woman's in a lot of these situations. Cause like a lot of dudes will just fucking react and fucking freak out and then just do some unspeakable shit. I'm not even defending it. Like this shit should not be happening. Like this should not be like, if you're going to do, we had this conversation. And I agree with what you said is that if you're going to do the murder suicide shit, just do the suicide first. Like, yeah, start. Oh, yeah, yeah. Word to the wise, guys. If you're planning a murder suicide, start with the suicide, then move on to the murder. Well, I want, I want to, um, I'm, I'm going to try to uh, provide some clarity for you, Captain. What we have to, what we have deemed in society, what masculinity is, and from 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 the perspective of who is an alpha type of male and who is a beta type of male mm -hmm. we say the guys that are the most emotionally honest because that's really the difference between men and women it is my wholehearted belief that men are more emotional than women i'll say it for you one more time men are more emotional than women but here is here's the problem Women, from when their little girls are encouraged to be honest about the emotions that they feel. Mm -hmm. Little boys are told, hey, better stiffen that upper lip. I better not see you crying. No emotional uh, expression from you is acceptable other than I'm hungry, I'm horny, or I'm angry. Right. Those are the only acceptable expressions. So what you're seeing from these guys is, in the absence of getting any kind of pussy, these well, guys... Obviously, obviously, one had a girlfriend, so, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, but uh, just because you got a girlfriend doesn't mean that all is, all is, all is well in pound town. Uh, okay? Jesus Christ. So, so, when you tell little boys and then they grow up to understand that the only emotional expression is anger they're gonna take their cacophony of different emotions and then channel it into hungry horny uh, or angry okay oh no right I, okay i no, i get what you're actually putting down you know what to a degree i didn't even think of it that way i, I didn't even really think about it that way because i hate to say it, that's actually kind of even how i was raised um hmm yeah, I guess you're actually kind of, yeah, you're right on that because I think that was a as a guy, right? If you show like any emotional tears or um any uh, like depression or any type of uh or even if you're just thing, happy, they look at you as if you're less than a man. Yeah, you're you're yeah, you're a beta. Depending on it, yeah, depending on the situation. Actually, I'd agree even like some dudes like if even if you're happy in a relationship, they'll like make some weird ass comments. Um, yeah, g g yeah, that kind of perspective. I didn't really think of it that way, but you're you're right actually because a lot of men growing up, you're kind of taught just to fucking bury that shit, fucking deal with it, and just uh, figure it out later on in life, and maybe maybe when you're 50 and you go to fucking therapy, you can figure it out. Um, but yeah, no, that is actually a very interesting perspective. I didn't even really think about. So that degree, yeah, like I I don't know, I I just you're kind of winning me over especially with just some of the facts with the shootings and stuff like that. I do think men can be just as emotional as women. But I believe that men are more emotional than women, but you, you see it in different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, women tend to uh, avoid conflict 
men are a little bit more prone to seeking out conflict. Yeah, being confrontational. Right, because again, they don't have a healthy way to express their emotions because otherwise you're a beta cuck, right? But what I'm telling you is, and I'm going to tell you this right now, these guys may have felt like they had all the power in those moments, but these are all betas. All the men that I that I named, and this is not just a Colorado thing. This is around the world where you see these mass acts of violence. These are all betas. This is not how a masculine man holds frame. Yeah. This is not how you express true masculinity. Hiding your emotions as if they don't exist it may look masculine to the other men around you. It may look masculine to the women around you. But when it ends up like this, when you look at the fact that the, uh, the, the male life expectancy is as much as five years less than a woman, that is directly related to the inability to maintain masculine frame. Mm -hmm. And if you, you're, you're going to be utterly incapable of maintaining that masculine frame if you're not honest with your goddamn self if you're not honest with your emotions and you don't express them to people you don't go seek therapy when necessary this is the kind of shit that happens well okay so and i definitely agree right that i think a lot of these issues could have been solved in a fucking therapy room or uh proper uh, emotional control right i think how can you control something that you're not a master of you a lot of these guys don't even understand their own emotions because they've only been taught that three are acceptable right no and what i'm saying is that a lot of this comes down to more education and more kind of uh i would say a more inner inward look i, I would say when i got 20 when i actually went out when i was like 19 20 when i had to go through the shit i dealt with it kind of it puts your mind in like a different perspective if that makes sense because i i do remember when i was like 18 and younger, I used to be fucking extremely pissed off all the time, right? Like, I used to have a massive temper, but then after you go through something, you just, you kind of calm down. It's like, eh, like, is it really worth getting that upset about that type of thing? Like, you know what I mean? In the grand scheme of things, is that really that big of a deal? Um, I think, you know, I actually do agree is that a lot of guys are just forced to bury a lot of their issues instead of kind of like having an honest like conversation. Because if like, if I went to another dude, right, let's say I'm even in my early 20s, say, hey, man, like I'm depressed or hey, man, like I'm dealing with this shit. Like most dudes, like not all, but most dudes, be like, oh, you a pussy, just suck it up here. Here's a beer. You know what I mean? Like bury that shit, bury that shit fucking deep down within your. Oh, you'll bur bury your dick in some pussy or something. Yeah, yeah like that. That's that's kind of like. A lot of dudes go to when it comes to just hiding their own issues like I, I've, I've known dudes that like became alcoholics because they were like uh burying trauma um so like i i just think you know personally f for us to tackle this issue a lot of this does come down to uh you know when we're raising our kids right let's say the next generation being like hey like listen like i'm not saying like be super open into the aspect where you tell the whole world your business but you need to have that core group around you that you can actually confide in and actually have real conversations with instead of that superficial superficial bullshit that really doesn't do much for you at the end of the day you know agreed and I, absolutely I think, and, I, and i think that's one of the problems that a lot of young men have like just just look at uh so you know you want me over actually i'll just say like i do now really thinking about it um, I would say men are more emotional, just even like kind of like reflecting, contemplating in my own youth, like how uh, I was I was before certain things happened. Like I just I dude, I would get fucking super pissed off. Like if I was fucking even like uh, not even really angry, just kind of sad. I just get, instead of being sad, I get angry. Right. So you actually kind of won me over on that. But I, I just there's so much more healthier ways to deal with issues that I don't think young men realize they can, there needs to be a support group, but, um, and to, to counter, not to really counter this, but to say this, right. I, I think the, one of the weird things is right. Cause even with a partner, like let's say you have like a girlfriend or something like that. Some women are turned off by the fact of their boyfriend or their uh, husband showing any type of weakness like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, like, Hey, like I'm fucking feeling sad, depressed. Like, uh, especially in the girlfriend stage, like a lot of women just want to do, that's just like a typical fucking quote unquote, like masculine guy. They don't want to really be dealing with someone's like bullshit. 
I'm not saying all women, obviously. I have a very good girl that we've had, had some real conversations, but kind of going through that dating world, wouldn't you say some women have that unrealistic um, expectation on men to just be that complete stone wall where nothing bothers them? Um, because I, I've seen that um, even with uh, friends of mine that are girls. So like they'll have that complete like, oh, like he cried. I'm not I'm not dating him no more. Yep. Like they have yep. that unrealistic. So like I think there's I think there's a lot of blame to go around. I think when it comes to upbringing with men, right? They uh, were expected to just carry it all and fucking suck it up deep down and fucking we'll deal with it later in life. Yeah, think uh, of it this way too. Think of it this way too. Isn't everything that men have ever done in the history of the world in some way, shape, form, or fashion have something to do with trying to procure, trying to keep, or upset that they lost some pussy? Well, yeah, pretty well, in a lot of ways. Like, you know, this is going to be a fucked up analogy, but like, you know, shit. You could, you could do that with dictators too, even, right? Like, just things that they short. Yeah. Well, uh, short they just tended to want all the women in their yeah, country. Like, like uh, Adolf, even like, uh, if you look at Napoleon, stuff like that, like, there's just, there's so many. Mussolini, Stalin, like, they just so, there's so Wars many. are fought. Uh, Wars have been started over women throughout human history. Yeah. If that's not emotional. What is rational about taking people's lives over women? What is rational about ordering thousands or tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of troops to try to take over another country or, def you know, so-called defend your country? Yeah. You're going into some sort of armed conflict. To gain resources. Well, why do men want resources? I mean, you've heard the whole adage. Men don't really like nice cars. Men like nice cars because women like nice cars. Yeah, but... And, and I think that's something we kind of got to tackle as men, right? It's not, you know, just uh, finding more depth when it comes to women, right? Like, just that superficial... Finding more depth when it comes to us. Because we can't do shit about the women. It's how we view ourselves as men. No, and, no, and I agree. I think men, we uh, we definitely need to value ourselves as more and have more depth and not become like just a stereotype. But what I'm saying is, there's a, there's a lot of also really good women out there that don't just view men in that stereotypical fashion. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we'll definitely be covering that topic on future videos. But, but uh, I think that it was important for us to really get to the heart of what we're talking about with all these mass shootings yeah you know like maybe two of them in the since columbine were, were pe perpetrated by women maybe two of them and that's not to say that women can't be violent and deadly i've seen a whole lot of that but i'm targeting the type of man that would do something like this this is not an all men issue no. there's a certain type of man and that is a beta that is a weak man who has to pick up Molotov cocktails, an assortment of firearms to walk into a place full of defenseless people to attack. They didn't go to their local hood and confront the Bloods or the Crips or, or, or the Aryan bro Brotherhood. They didn't, uh, they didn't go and, and, and try to go against MS-13. They're not, they're not doing none of that stuff. They're going to churches. They're going to middle schools. They're going to high schools. They're going to movie theaters. They're going to Walmart. Yeah, but places where they know people cannot defend themselves. Well, that's if the, that no, is not beta, yeah. it doesn't exist. Well, These are weak-minded men. that, And you do not want that to be you. No, Our I, audience I, out there, the people that we're talking to, if you want to maintain your masculine frame you want to stay away from expressions of emotions like this because that's all these things are yeah these are just expressions these are extreme expressions of emotions well and i think when it comes down to it um let's just be honest that situation where they bring a firearm where no one else is armed essentially right that's probably the first time in their life they felt powerful you know what i'm saying like they're 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 like oh man like nobody can do shit to me 
You know, like I'm a fucking god. Like you know what I mean? Like that. that yep. Complex, Playing God. Where it's just that, delusions of grandeur. Uh, delusions. Fucking, they feel like they're this higher level now. Like oh, I can fucking, I can take any of your fucking life. This is my fucking say. The type of shit. Like it's just. Yeah, it's just, and I agree. That's not that's not masculinity. That's not a. Uh, it's a form of narcissism. Man. That's just that's a beta male that's upset that they fucking have shortcomings in their own life. They don't know how to fucking properly deal with it. And I just. You know, this this late just going back to this the shooting that just happened in Colorado, it, it is baffling to me. Someone that has a girlfriend, right? Like uh, me and you both have uh, significant others, right? Like I couldn't imagine. You know what I mean? Like I couldn't imagine like shooting someone I love. You know, like it's it's just it's such a weird concept to me where it's like you know you say you love this girl to take her on dates. You know, you have intimate moments or you know. And maybe maybe the relationship was on the rocks. I don't know, but even if a relationship was on a rock, like like for example, any of my exes, I w- I wouldn't ever fantasize of any of the exes I've dated. Like where some stuff has gone pretty south, I wouldn't be like, well, fucking guess I'm bringing my AR tonight. You know, like it's just it's just weird, man. Like it's just I, I just don't necessarily understand how people take that. Like okay, like let me break up with this chick. There's other fish in the sea. Instead, they take that next level. You know what? If this girl can't be with me, she can't be with nobody. Mm-hmm. And, and then she, fu- then you fucking shoot her, and then you shoot her extended family, right? And it's just, it's, it's wild. And like, yeah, and the, and the reports said, oh, he never shot any of the children. But like, yo, if uh, you, you, feel yeah, like well, you're not giving him any extra special no, credit, no, for it, that, no, like you still took like what, including himself, seven lives, and like honestly, yo, just start for the one just kill yourself like if you feel like that like oh i'm gonna fucking kill these people and i can't necessarily even uh stand up for the weight of my actions like you're a pussy in my opinion like you yeah know. i yeah i i again like i i have a i have a very traumatic history when it comes to um self-termination so you know we're not here advocating that people go out there and self-terminate yeah, but no. what we are saying is if you're gonna be a bitch ass bitch and start shooting people shoot yourself first yeah start no. start with yourself no, seriously like yeah, so like, down in the comment section below we want to know what you think what do you think are fueling these mass shootings in colorado and other places in the united states uh do you think that we have a point or do you think we're just talking shit?